Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Empower Your Voice with me, Clifton Ross III. Today, I'm going to share some helpful tips that I use to learn songs, and maybe they can help you. So learning a song can be easy or difficult, really depending on your time constraints. If your schedule is anything like mine, then we both feel like there's just not enough time in the day to get everything done that we need to. So adding anything extra can almost seem impossible, especially like learning a song. But if there is a will, there is definitely a way. So let's go over some of these tips. Step one, or tip number one, I would write out my lyrics or print them out. If you decide to print them out, you can Google them and you can do different web searches for different song titles and print out the lyrics. But I would make sure you go over the lyrics to make sure they're accurate with the recording. I prefer to write out my words. I'm a visual and hands-on learner. So the more that I write, the more that I remember. So you decide which works best for you and try it out. Tip number two, make markings all over your paper. If the melody goes up, write an arrow or a line. If you can't breathe to the end of a phrase, write a slur. Um, if there are particular words that are choppy or staccato, make little slashes in that. If your director gives you certain vocal notes or vocal instruction, write that too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I took a small excerpt from the song, You Are My Sunshine, and I wrote four lines on here, and let's go through and make some markings. The song goes like this. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Now, let's break down line by line. You are my sunshine. What stands out on that first line? To me, the sunshine, because it's the same note twice. So what I would do is just simply make a line over sunshine to help me remember that it stays straight. Don't go. Don't waver. Okay? My only sunshine. Excuse me. My only sunshine. Now, that my only is a little weird because it goes back and forth like that. So why don't we write that down to help us remember? My only sunshine goes back here. Straight. So it's almost like you're taking notes in class. When, you, when your professor gives you a paper, a paper to read, look over it, highlight it, and write notes in the margin. That's all we're doing here. You make me happy kind of goes up the whole time. So why don't we write an arrow? The melody continuously goes up. Now, happy is a little weird. Happy really emphasize the last little bit of happy. So why don't we put a box around here to, note it, to pay attention to that and write an arrow up. You make me happy. Now, what else happens? I lift. Happy. Now, remember from our other videos when we do woo or anything like that. If I'm directing this and I'm teaching you all, you are my sunshine. When I, tell you, when I get to happy, I would say make sure you write in your line lift. Write that on your paper. So write that down. L-I-F-T. Put it in parentheses. Right? All over your paper. When skies are gray, it goes back down. So why don't we do an arrow down the whole time? Does that make sense? Remember, once you write all of these down and you go back and remember it, look over these lines too. That, and that will always help you remember with um, the dynamic markings or special certain things that happen during the song. Next, I would divide each stanza or each um, line in sections. So learn you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. Then go back from the top and start over. Add the third line. Go back to the top. Go down to the third line. Add a fourth line. Go back up to the top. Start over and keep going until you finish the song or finish that stanza. Then go to the next stanza. Do line by line. And once you master that stanza, go back up to the beginning and do that again. So remember, keep practicing and repetition. Repetition really helps in memorization. Also, if you can pinpoint a certain place or a person or an event in different melody lines or lyric markings, that will help you as well. Um, if you're able to use a binder, use it, but don't be married to the binder. If you sing in choral class, then you know that you're supposed to hold, hold the binder like this. You never want to hold it like this and then be all in your words like this because now you're becoming a distraction. And moreover, your binder is the distraction and you're supposed to be the main focal point or the center of attention. So never let your binder take over. In your practicing, make sure you always practice those passion moments. You understand the feeling of the song. You always want to just go forth. Don't let the binder take over. 
And remember, you can practice in the mirror with your binder, or you can practice in the mirror without it if you just have words. Remember, practice makes permanent. Always glance and make yourself believe, okay? So hopefully these tips have helped you. If they do, use them. I Trust me, it works. I use them all the time. So let me know what works for you. Until next time, thank you for watching Empower Your Voice.